This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift up the safety latch, raise the hood, and support it with the proper rod. Chalk the front wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir and siphon out about half the brake fluid. This is to prevent the brake fluid in the reservoir from overflowing when the brake caliper piston is pushed into its bore to make room for the new pads. Properly discard the fluid removed, as new brake fluid of the correct type must be used when refilling the reservoir. Using a screwdriver, pry off the wheel trim covers. Loosen the rear wheel lug nuts. Then jack up the rear of the vehicle and support it on jack stands. Remove the rear wheels. Work on one brake assembly at a time using the assembled brake for reference if necessary. Before disassembling the brake system, position a drain pan under the brake assembly and clean the caliper and surrounding area with brake system cleaner. Again, do not use compressed air and do not inhale any brake dust. Although it is not essential, it might be easiest to disconnect the parking brake cable from the caliper before it is removed. Using a pair of locking pliers clamped onto the cable end and a screwdriver to compress the spring bracket, slide out the cable end from the notch. Pry out the cable retaining circlip then slide the parking brake cable through the hole into the bracket. Remove the upper and lower caliper mounting bolts. Hang the rear caliper from the vehicle body with a piece of coat hanger wire. Avoid putting any strain on the brake hose when supporting the caliper. Remove the inner and outer brake pads. Make sure the areas on the mounting bracket where the pad ends meet are clean before reinstalling the pads. Install new clips to the ends of the new brake pads. If new clips cannot be obtained, transfer the clips from the old pads to the new pads in the correct direction, ensuring that they are not irregularly bent or deformed. Pull out the two caliper guide pins. Inspect the pin surface and dust boots for excessive wear or damage and replace if necessary. Clean the pins and lubricate them with high temperature brake grease before installation. Install the inner brake pad. Install the outer brake pad. To make room for the new pads, rotate the caliper piston clockwise with a brake piston tool or needle nose pliers. Screw the piston in all the way and align the notches in the piston with the openings in the caliper. Install the brake caliper over the new pads. 
Then install the caliper mounting bolts. Tighten the mounting bolts to the specified torque setting. If the parking brake cable was disconnected, fully insert the cable in through the bracket hole and install the cable retaining circlip. Using the locking pliers and a screwdriver, compress the spring bracket enough to allow the cable to slide into the bracket slot, then release the spring tension. Firmly depress the brake pedal a few times to bring the pads into contact with the disc. Repeat this procedure for the remaining rear brake pads on the opposite side of the vehicle. Operate the parking brake lever a few times and make sure the cables have been securely attached to the caliper. Install the rear wheels and lug nuts. Lower the vehicle to the ground and tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque. Install the wheel trim covers, applying firm pressure to secure them in place. Check the brake fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir. Add some new fluid of the correct type if necessary to bring it to the appropriate level.